Well, along with some of today's projects, one of them was to clean up the agribon that the wind and the storms the last few days have have caused. So I've got to get that straightened out. But when I came out here to look at this, what I noticed is these are our potatoes. And a lot of them have been stripped bare of foliage. So let's see if I can find one. They look like tomato hornworms. And um, big, huge green worms that are defoliating these. So I've sprayed it with BT to uh, an acemist application um, to strengthen the plants and the BT should interrupt the digestive system. I'm having trouble finding these little worms now. I mean they're, they're literally the same color as the as these plants. So it's kind of spotty as well. Some of them are okay, some of them are pretty damaged. But let's see. Surely I can find one here somewhere. No, oh, there's one. I found about ten of these guys. You see them right there? Pretty sure it's like a tomato hornworm. But um I sprayed it with BT. I'm going to come out here again in a little while and look and see if it has um, disrupted their digestion and helped to kill them. And if not, we'll kill them by hand. And then we'll get the, the, crop, the cover put back on there. Another part of our project is, uh, this is one of our orchid garden fields behind this compost pile. So one of the other things I'm going to be doing is using the Yanmar tractor to move this compost to the far end down there so that we can get our water lines and um, our beds for squash and winter squashes, pumpkins, and some other plants that are gonna go out here in this one. It's still pretty muddy out there, but we'll see if I can at least get the rose made with the BCS today. So I'm going to take just a second here and show you what the compost is looking like. This is, this is probably um, roughly uh, 8 to 10 months old. And you can see there's still a lot of sticks and large debris, but it looks very much like garden soil that you might buy at a, at a store. We're going to continue to let this break down further by adding it to the, this compost pile, getting it moved out of our way. But um, it's looking good. Still a lot of organic matter in there, but it is breaking down very nicely and creating soil. So, very happy with that. All right, guys, we're getting a delivery today. Brought by Old Dominion. Forks on the tractor bucket to see if we can get it unloaded. in the bucket. But I want them sitting on a pallet out there, so I may as well put them on a pallet now. <laughs> it's 
So where is the uh, the plastic rolls are not there? Two boxes of poly. Those two boxes. Two boxes. Is that what those are? What you said. Okay. Jeez. Should be able to do it now. Yeah. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you. No problem. It's time for this lunch to come out. Time for lunch. 
Thank you. So what did we? What did they deliver? Did you count all the things? What was it? Thirteen and two. Yep. Thirteen. I tried to count them, but I did. Where the plastic with the forks. Yeah, I know. I was like, ah. oh well. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess thirteen altogether. Yes. Oh, I thought it was thirteen, 13 pieces. And two. So there's the parts to the next greenhouse. <laughs>